those that have come out tonight uh, we pray for Bill's uh, wife tonight God that you would just touch her and heal her body too Lord in your name we pray Amen I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all Good evening, BMA. My name's Larry Lakins. I come to you on behalf of Sandy and Luella's Gift Market. We're asking to close Main Street on Saturday, June 9th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to have a vintage inspired market. market. Vintage inspired <coughs> market. Uh, we're looking uh, probably between 10 and 25 street vendors. <coughs> We're also doing this in conjunction with the Rogersville Arts Council, and Ms. Gary McConnell's got some more information there. Uh, but our request is to close Main Street from 10 to 5. And we're not taking any, they're not, we're not charging any fee for the business. <coughs> it's, it, it's just for the merchants, to help the merchants. <coughs> so you're only closing Main Street, none of the side streets at all. Go ahead, Derek. Well, it's a map extraordinaire. I have the maps, and they're in color. So um, we're asking for this too because we're going to bring in, we're going to kind of bring in the entertainment for the event and the food trucks and maybe some vendors. And, well, some vendors, and ours will go on. Vendors will go on Church Street, and our food trucks will go on um, Depot. And that's it, you know. So we're making that, we're just partnering with them to make it a full event. <coughs> so this is approved, approved by you all? Yes. I mean, your requirements. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What, what else the Arch Council? It's like y'all had something made in the field. The Arch Council, too, and because of the threats to the storms, we canceled it. Oh, okay. And we were sick the next day, you can imagine. <laughs> so, to get the grant that we need and to have it to fulfill the grant, we have to, as soon as possible, have these entertainers do the performances so we can. I know we had the barricades and everything. Ah, uh, you had everything ready for us. Ice cream Here. Here. <laughs> Here. Here's another one. Thank you. Yeah. 
Make a motion we approve the request to close the street as indicated on this page. I'll second it. Move to the second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, this approved. No. Thank y'all for encouraging business downtown. Yes, <coughs> thank you. Uh, item five, street department uniforms. Yeah, I'm just reporting back that Mark needs to use Unifirst. So I was just want to make sure we came with that. Was I'll make a motion we'll go with it. Second. We'll move to the second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those disapproved, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Item six, Ford Foundation Dog Park Grant. You know as much about that as I do. <laughs> well, basically, I was contacted uh, that there was a grant out there and town was willing to apply for it, we stood a fairly decent chance of getting it. And I asked you to check on it, now it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> well, what's in your packet is <clears throat> the actual application or the how to apply for it, and I think we do it in the official rules, but it has to happen by June the 20th, which is going to be a tight fit, and you do have to send a letter or name it where the park would be at and that, that you know where you would want to park you know, an actual location <clears throat> so what i guess i'm requesting do you want to apply and if so <clears throat> where do you want to put it because <clears throat> i have to send all that in by the 20th i think if we're going to apply i think you've got a place that's parked probably be up there where the race will go to Skateboard, skateboard, skateboard park. would probably be ample enough to do that. I'll make a motion to apply for it. I think a big park will patrol before we just. No, you don't. Oh, I don't? No. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right. No, that's fine. We'd like to encourage some use with that corner. Yeah. So it'd be great. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just I don't sitting know. there. You did see the amounts and everything. Motion to have a second. I'll say. Move to the second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. Okay. It's a contract with the uh, Tennessee Department of Transportation and the City of Rockford. Yeah, this is a yearly contract with them where the street department takes care of the four lane and stuff for them. Yeah. They'll spread over it, mark okay with it we just need the approval for the mayor to sign it make a motion with the mayor to sign this contract second second we'll move to the second any other discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. Those that disagree say no uh what's this actuary service yeah. it's a retirement um oh yeah we, our current one uh, how many years, Linda? Two. Two years behind. So we're, we've been looking for a new one, and they are hard to find to do this type of thing. So we have come up with one, and we're suggesting them go change actually oh. to USI. USI, I believe. Yeah. What's the current? We currently pay what five thousand. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Somewhere in that neighborhood, but they are behind. <laughs> <laughs> no more than what I sit you on. Okay. What's the wishes? I'll make a motion. We allow them to. Uh, Contract USI. This amount. Contract that amount. Second. Moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Disapproved? No. Okay. Now there's open bids on Blue Spoon House at the park. We had no return. No bids. What are you doing tomorrow, Bill? <laughs> Probably not here in the house now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
Well, what's our option? You know, I get, you're going to have to rebid. You know, we, it you had hoped to bid it where someone would take the, and that's what we yeah. asked for. Someone would take the materials for the demolition, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're just probably have to ask for bids without any conditions on it and see what happens. I'll make a motion to do that. Second. We'll move to the second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those disapproved, no. Okay. 10 is ordinance 41081. This is second reading on the next account. Mayor, you have somebody in the audience who wants to speak. Sure. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to um, share some information. Sure. And I, I did a letter uh, and then just some packet of information and and really it's in regard and I wrote it down because I don't really do this well. Um, it's in regard to the uh, breed specific section. I agree with all the leash control and all the other portions but you know, when it comes to being breed specific, I think it really comes down to the owners and holding people accountable for their pets. Or I think that uh, we need to make sure that that's where we hold the accountability and not the breed in particular. Because the only dog in their list is a, a pit bulldog. And I think that really there are other dogs that have been issues in, and I don't know I know that was like 1986 when that was put in, but uh, I would like to have that considered to be taken out and look at other ways to hold owners themselves accountable for the how their dogs behave out in public and elsewhere. Mayor, I think there was some miscommunication uh, in the media the last time that when we uh, brought this ordinance forward. All this ordinance does is add a definition of domesticated animals and defines pit bulldogs have been uh, unlawful in the town of Rogersville. It's actually 1982 and uh, that's been in effect since then. So the only thing that changed was domesticated animals and stating that a pit bull, any dog that's 50% or more pit bulldog is, is considered a, a pit bulldog. Is there a reason why that dog was targeted versus any other breed? I, I hate to say it, but I was around in 1982 when they, when they adopted it. And the reason was there were a rash of, of killings by pit bulls throughout the country in, and several here in East Tennessee. And that the Board of Mayor and Alderman at that time adopted the pit bull ordinance. It's been in effect. <coughs> there's been no motion to rescind that, and there's certainly no ordinance here tonight to rescind it. So. It's a, all this all this does is amend the the animal control ordinance by adding domesticated animals. Well, I'm requesting that it be rescinded. All right, it's also important to now have an animal control officer. You did not before, so now it's going to be enforced. And it's difficult to determine fifty percent or more. And there's there are tests that can be done, but you can't look at one. And I know that there's several that it, they have data that shows it's very difficult even when you look at it, it was proven that it wasn't even 50%. It would have to be by DNA. Mm -hmm. It is DNA testing. Where do y'all live at? <laughs> I live here in Rogers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, St. Clair. St. Clair. Rogers. We live in Boyd Street Apartments and when this article came out in the paper, I was contacted the next day by my landlord that said if this ban passes, we will be asked to either remove our dogs or move. And that's like, to me, that's They're like family. telling me I have to give my kids. Yeah, and I don't have any kids. And we've yeah, had our dogs yeah. for five years. They are on a harness, they are on a leash every time. They are never outside alone by themselves. They are not aggressive, they are not violent. As Bill said, the problem is that that's not a new ordinance. We understand, but it hasn't <coughs> been enforced right. now that it's been made you know, into the paper. You know, this could, This is our livelihood. If we have to move, we're homeless. We don't have anywhere to go. I mean, what what yeah. would we have to do to 
what you've got before you tonight is the second reading on this order. Right. That's, 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 that's it. it. Um, may I add on with the uh, Hawkins County uh, Humane Society, our the shelter? I've been working there for over two years. I'm a board member now. And I did some research, and really, the pit bulls that come into our facility on average are more friendly to people than the average larger dog. Now, they can be dog aggressive, but no more than any other large dog aggressiveness. In the last year and a half, two years, we had to put five or six dogs to sleep. Only one was a pit bull mix. The other five dogs had nothing to do with it, with the pit bull at all. So I canvassed our, uh, our shelter, our board members, and uh, people who work there. And a large consensus is, is that it's, the, it's not breed specific, but it depends upon how the dog is taken care of. Of course, it can be you know, fighting pit bulls that are very vicious, but by and large, each dog, <coughs> um, really, uh, the dog level determines if it's been bite, but not really at the breed level. And just, I, I looked online, the American Bar Association, American Kennel Club, the American Veterinary Medical Association, the Center for Disease Control, the National Animal Control Association, State Farm Insurance, U.S. Department of HUD, and U.S. Department of Justice all are in record against breed specific laws. They recommend to do it at the uh, dog level and not the breed level. And it really, if you emphasize the breed level, a lot of times it drives people underground. They don't go to veterinary care. They hide their dogs more, and it almost becomes more of a problem. And it clearly needs to be an owner thing instead of just the dog and pointing at the dog. I have trained dogs for over 40 years, and I have certified pit bulls as therapy dogs in programs, multiple programs, and then especially in the Knoxville area. <clears throat> so it shouldn't be a breed specific. It should be clearly the owner. Okay, I understand what you're saying and all that, but tonight all we're going to do is vote on this particular ordinance. And uh, if you want to come back, or one of these people here want to make another ordinance to do that or amend that, they can do that. Yes, sir. You got, you got, we got another. Have to be a board, a member of the board, right? mayor, and all of them have to suggest it. the ordinance right. and bring it forward. Uh, can't, you can, you can't bring an ordinance forward. Just as a member of the public, but you can approach your representatives. Bill, before we even decide to make that ordinance, can, what's it going to change if we make it specific to a vicious dog or a dog instead of instead of leaving a breed in there? How do you define a, what's a vicious well, dog? I mean, there's no specific definition. You can't have a vicious dog, and what you say is. Well, that dog went vicious before. Mm. It's it's the old one eat one by free rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the reason this was adopted in 1982 I'm, was it by getting on the board back then? Now you, <laughs> uh, there was some a great deal of discussion about it then, but uh, there was a rash of serious incidents. Uh, and they were all involved. Well, it, it, could, it could be a rash of incidents involving. Any breed. It could be any breed. I mean, you can be a rock wild, a rock shepherd. I mean, you can be a chihuahua if you want to take that. I've had four, and none of them have been aggressive. And they've all been raised around kids. It's going to taste more, though. I agree. You've got four. No, I used to have four. I'm going to go with that. Four all together. And they've all I'm been sure everybody here has got one too. I'm not, we're not saying that. I understand. Uh, we're just saying Bill has told us what we have to do if you're going to do it. You have to get one of those people right here. Right, James, is that right, Bill? That's correct. To sponsor an order. Sponsor an order. You can't just change the terminology. Mm, not the way. You have to have a new order, too. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> So what they're saying is we can't. There's there's no action that can be taken at tonight's meeting, but you know, it can be taken into consideration for that. But an ordinance would have to be passed. But dealing with the ordinance that we have, in, uh, or this ordinance 41818, uh, just to institute the changes. Uh, for our animal control officer to do their job effectively. That's correct. Yes. And this was done at the request of the animal control officer yeah, through one, one of you all, but, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he requested we include domesticated animals, not just dogs and cats. Yeah. And, and that's basically what it was. And we also added, that because there had been some uh, concern about what is a pit bull and what's not, we 
we put in the, the 50% rule and that has to be confirmed by a veterinarian within so many days. Well, that would have to be through DNA. Well, I wish to know we got it from the veterinarian. So tell me in the rule that we, tell me in what we've got right now so the, and the patrol officer can do his job on we'll the motion to pass this on the second reading. I know we got one more reading to go. We do. Second. We move to the second. Any other discussion? All in favor should say aye. 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 Those disapproved, no. We thank you very much for coming. Thank you. seen those things it's true everybody's seen uh, and we're asking to go for two million dollars on a, a grant not a grant but a bond, bond, bond issue and possibly raise the rates and I feel like if, if we're going to do that that's a big issue and I think the town of art all of us ought to be in here Take the blame until there's two or three of you. That's my opinion. Can I speak? Sure. Uh, I'd like to bring you up to date on what's transpired since <clears throat> the comptroller's audit and comptroller's finding. But uh, uh, what the board is, has done since has gone through three days of. Uh, it's uh, now mandatory uh, training from the state of Tennessee, and you all went through that too. That was very good training. It was something that uh, I wish we'd had 20 years ago. But what they did is talk, talked about internal controls. And since this, uh, this happened, since this incident, we've tightened up on the internal controls within the water department. Uh, in, especially of uh, 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 office uh, uh, personnel. Uh, but I, I feel that the board has grown through this training. The board is more capable now of making decisions. Uh, they understand that you trust, but you also verify. I don't know what president said that, but uh, it, it, it's a it's a uh, very good practice and our corrective action that we're putting together is to do that trust but verify uh, through uh, audits from the water department water board uh, we put together uh, the corrective action per finding that the comptrollers had in the report. And I feel that we've tightened up. Uh, we understand the responsibility now. Uh, some of it was uh, geared toward uh, things that 
we're associated with our, our personnel policy, city personnel policy. Uh, I gave copies to everybody today for, with the uh, personnel policy. Uh, they had never had it. So I'm going to ask them to read and understand that policy and implement that policy within the water department. Uh, the written document has to be upheld, and they, under, they understand that now. Uh, they, have, they have the tools to uh, correct these, these type of issues, more oversight. But uh, those internal controls, uh, we need to uh, make that a formal document, uh, initiate those items. And uh, what we've done as far as uh, the day-to-day -day activities and the future activities, I put together a 10-year plan with uh, the board it's an honest look at what it takes to do work I did I didn't say I didn't start with a set, set number and say what can you do with this dollar amount I put together what does it take to walk in here and do work meet your regulatory requirements uh, meet uh, your equipment requirements so a lot of things have gone, been going positive with this water department. It hadn't stopped, it hadn't slowed down. <coughs> Nothing has slowed down. Uh, I know we've got issues with uh, 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 meeting the uh, state requirements and that's gonna be a struggle from now on. 10 year plan addresses a lot of those. Uh, but anytime a regulatory change comes about, it, it's gonna cost money. It doesn't matter what, uh, what, how you try to uh, approach it, it costs money. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good solid budget uh, by this time next week and we present it to you, you all for approval the, in the, the June meeting. Uh, it will be, and, and you're all invited to come to our workshops. It's, uh, it will be to your benefit. But uh, I wanted to explain to you where we stand with the board, and I ask that the board continue its, uh, its obligation to the city of Roger. I think that they understand and will we'll accomplish our goals. Uh, like I said, I feel like that you know if we're going to invest this type of money, that the whole <coughs> board needs to be involved. That's just my opinion, and I just think that that's uh, there's nothing against the board because three of them going to be the same members on it anyway. All you're doing is bringing it into us, and he's the uh, what are you the uh, treasurer. treasurer. He's already in the treasurer, so. And we, you know, we work well with. Uh, well, I understand that, but I'm I, saying. I appreciate though, his help. But, what I'm saying is, we've <laughs> already got that. We're only just a little bit of having it under all of us and doing it anyway. But when you get up, start spending $2 million, and you've got, uh, you're going to have to raise the tax, and you're going to raise the water, water, rate, rates. water rates and stuff like that. You all don't get the testings on those. I do. And I think if we're going to do it, I want you know, be able to say, hey, this is why, this is this, that, the other. That's just my opinion. I, 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 I just want you to understand that the board is, understands and the board's going forward. You've got a good board. You've got a good well, board. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. They are good board. Okay, anybody else? Do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion that we take it back into the Board of Mayor and Alderman. I'll second. We'll do second. Any other discussion? Mayor, if you do that, um, <coughs> is there any allowance for any water customer outside of the city 
to have any say so on the board. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to speak in the customer, Lakewood Utility District representative. All right. I have asked questions of this board and of the water board, and I have been told to mind my own business. I have also been told that I have no right to question or protest anything this board does except by voting in city elections. 50% of your customers are outside the city limits, right? One other thing I'm gonna bring up is your water commission is established by your charter. Your charter is a private act of the state legislature. <clears throat> it is my understanding that you cannot change that until the legislature changes that. And it will not be back in session until February of next I'm year. Gonna, uh, how do you answer that? Uh, I know Mr. Carlisle has a law degree, but I believe if you'll read that statute that's in the <coughs> ordinance, you'll find that it provides at 735406 that a board may and alderman may take and, uh, over the duties of the water commission and abolish it. And I might read that in the charter. What, well, well, it's not in the charter, it's a state statute. That okay. supersedes every private act. That's a general act of the state statute. Okay. Now, please <laughs> provide me that in writing. Oh, I'm not, I just provided you that orally. I won't provide you anything in writing. Go look it up yourself. I really like that, Mr. Phillips. <laughs> I mean, listen, what's, what's it what, are you are you a citizen of the town of Rogersville? Are you a resident of this town? No, I'm not. You vote here? No. Do you pay a water bill for here I in the sure town? Do my district. You buy water from the Rogersville Water Commission, your district does, Mr. Mm -hmm. Carlisle. You are not a customer. A your your district is a customer. Now, the, the, the state statute provides that that may take place. State statutes are general acts that supersede any private act. Okay. okay. Anything else? Okay. According to the General Counsel of the Tennessee Association of Utility District, Donald Scholes, he says that it cannot this board cannot abolish the water commission. It says it has to be done by the legislature. And that's per general counsel for Tennessee Association Utility District. Well, if he were here tonight, I'd be glad to show him the same statute. And I'd be glad to read it to all of you. It's in there. Now, I don't make this up. If someone asks me to, to draft this ordinance, I'll draft the ordinance. And they ask you, can that happen? And I'm telling them, yes, it can. I'm just thinking like any citizen that comes here, that comes to a meeting. There, there's no, like, there's just no. Just like your water board now, they come to the water board right. in the meeting. They right. come in here, it's like, right? Right. But there's no official representation on the board. There's no official there. representation on the water board. <coughs> there, there's a possibility of it. If we do this, there's no possibility of it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, there could be an amendment to that. I'm not sure about that. Okay. The, the second thing is, and, and you've been at most all of our water board meetings. Sure, sure. Um, you know there's a lot of work that goes into that, and I'm not specifically opposed to the 
VMA taking over this, but is everybody going to be willing to, are we going to have a separate water committee? Are we going to be able to get together and discuss this outside of a BMA meeting? Is there going to be two meetings or? There'll be two meetings. Okay. Be a separate one. Uh, from what I understand, I think that would be the way you'd, you'd have it. You'd have a water board meeting. And then right after that, there'll be nice like we do now. Like we do now. Why would you do that if the same people got control of it? Why not do it together? I mean, if you're going to do that, you only need one meeting. Make a longer meeting rather than two meetings. What's the difference? Well, I think that would give. Right? As part of our district, our business. I just think if you had it separate, that you had somebody come in like these people here want to do, you could get more done in that separate meeting of the water than you would well, be. Well, we all just spoke to them. If they're not a resident and are voting in the city of Rogersville, they have no say so, period. I'm talking about just John Q. Public. Well, that's what I'm talking about, John Q. Public, that we sell water to outside the city of Rogersville. Well, I'm talking about the, one, well, <laughs> the ones that live inside the water can come in, too. Let me read that. Yeah, let's read this, too. This is the PCA section I was referring to, 735406. Every incorporated city and town in this state acquiring a waterworks or sewage system under the provisions of this part shall be required and is hereby authorized and empowered to appoint a board of waterworks and or sewage commissioners to have supervision and control of the construction and operation of such works. Board is used in this part means a board of waterworks and or sewage commissioners as required and authorized in this section. The governing body of any incorporated city or town may by proper ordinance, elect to perform the duties required of the boards under this part, in which event <clears throat> the governing body shall have all the powers, duties, and responsibilities imposed upon the board, and all references to the board shall refer to such governing body acting in the capacity of such board. So, there you have it. It's said in the Water Commission of the Governing Board. It's not said in this board of mayor and all of them. It's the board. I don't have a lot of agreement, but it's not a lot. Okay, thank you, Mr. Carlisle. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, anything else for the board? It's time to vote. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, those of you that are on the current board have to declare that you're going to vote. Did you have a conflict because of the commitment of compensation you received for being on that board? I hear about this, so. Which way are we voting for what? <laughs> Go to take the water commission back in. Tonight. I'm voting to take it back in. Con? Yes. Right. Oh, yes. Craig? No. Three, three. No. no. It's three, three, two, two and one. And one pass. Yeah. He can count. 
I'm coughing my head off. Okay, so the motion carries. That's well, uh, pass on first reading. Yes, All right. Now you've got the uh, set time and date for budget workshop. Yeah, we need to uh, mm. set some time to get together and do what we did last year. Or we had one workshop that we need to have more we can, but I just want to go ahead and get that set. And then we need to set up times for the readings, but we can probably do that as we go because people may not know the schedule. You know, we want to do that. Do y'all have, do y'all, would y'all like to try to meet this month sometime? To, I think we need to have one this month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the workshop. Yes, the workshop. Just the workshop, but not the budget meeting itself. No, no, the when we all have things ready for us to see first week, right? Any time? Yeah, we got pretty much it. I just want to make sure she did it. We have to have a So if we're going to have a budget workshop uh, next week, I, I think what is there anywhere possible that we could, uh, if we have a budget workshop meeting next week, I could uh, say bye. How many days we got to post it, Sam? Well, Here's the, here's the only thing. Next week, I'll be out Thursday and Friday. Okay. So the next week, I'll be there. I've got to be in CMFO class on the Okay. I'm planning on taking Friday. Doing okay. We done. did it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I don't think we did it. Uh, well, we could probably get it in if we posted in three locations. You know? This coming Monday? This next, yeah. yeah we'll we'll wait, wait until the next week. Wait until the next week. Until the next week. Yeah, I don't think even if you posted it, it probably is sufficient enough. Okay. So you want to look at uh, next week. That week is all out. Tuesday the 22nd. That we got a planning commission meeting at 9 o'clock that morning here. But what time of day is going to work out best for y'all for a budget workshop? Probably for a third of the uh, I mean, I'm looking at some of the And that's up to, I mean, it's up to you guys. Five o'clock, <coughs> about five o'clock, uh, the fourth Tuesday, which would be the 22nd. Five o'clock on, that's Tuesday the 22nd. Okay. That'll be a workshop. Workshop. Five o'clock on the what now? Tuesday the 22nd, five o'clock. I believe if, if everybody's okay, we'll wait to set dates for readings till we get all that done. I just, when I typed that out, I thought about it. All righty. And then, uh, then we're going to go to the other one. Is that all right, everybody? Mark. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to have our first scheduled. Uh, Brian's up here. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to have our first scheduled budget vote. During our, it, it can be that we're going to have to sit two more. Right, I realize that. So we I was looking at the, we've got four two 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 in, three, two in, uh, we can, in June. We can do two budget meetings in one meeting. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Now, we have Nancy's a, got a question. Yeah, Nancy. I have a question. Just want to remind you the cruise in starts uh, May 25th. And the second one's June the 8th, and the third one's July the 6th, and we're going to have the parade on July the 4th at 11 o'clock. And I've already got with Mark with all that. Just give me all a heads up. All right, now give me those dates again. Okay, May 25th is the first cruise in. June the 8th, second one. June the 8th, and then July the... Six, six, six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, July 6th, and then uh, the parade will be July the 4th at 11 o'clock. Stand up, Van. I mean, uh, nice. Sarah. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm standing up. Uh -huh. <laughs> whoever, whoever's talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 yeah, I'm with the 4th of July committee, and we come to request the use of the park on the afternoon of July the 3rd and July the 4th for the uh, park for the celebration and uh, we've already got our insurance going I will be sending everything into them tomorrow to 
get everything approved for it, uh, then I'll bring by a copy of the policy to you all uh, for it. Uh, if uh, you got the same request as you had for last year, yeah. yes, everything may be sunny. No money that would no, no. <laughs> y'all won't give money. We're, 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 we're taking all this money. Yeah, no, we're money. taking the money. Make a uh, motion we add that to the agenda. Good move to have a second. I'll second. Move to second. All in favor say aye. Aye. No disapproved. No. Okay. Well, you have had, uh, from what I've been told, some issues with the electricity at the stage behind the stage. And yeah, where it comes in with a big pole mark there on the back. You know where I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, at the stage. I talked to Bob Stanton I, I today. I've been told you. I've done the okay, whole and uh, he went up there and looked at it and talked with Todd Freeman. And uh, the way it was explained to us wasn't there a problem with it? Way, the way it's set up right now, when, when they ran the initial power to the stage, uh, they ran it straight. There's no breakers coming off the poles. So, in a sense, anybody that uses that stage and ties into that electric, there, there's a good possibility they ruin their equipment or cause damage to the stage. Uh, yeah. And, and, so that, that's the that's the issue we had. Uh, Host Electric actually had to come last year and unlock it for us, and they actually did the hookups. Um, but they won't do that again. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Address that. Let's go for the part four. And we meet the we meet the fourth Wednesday at twelve. If y'all come up there and see us, yeah. I call Bryce and get on the grid. Right We've got to get something fixed. And yeah, you've got a lot of time to get that done. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Possibly, maybe we could get, if we buy the breakers, maybe those and electric might do the work. Maybe we could work out something with them to help with it. But please make sure you come up to the, get on the agenda. Okay? Okay. It's, you know, everybody's had a problem with it. It's used it, but. Now it's come all the way around. It's back to us again. Yeah. Uh, we need to fix it right. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be fixed before somebody gets killed fooling with it. Uh, and everybody's got a liability today. So uh, we just wanted to mention it while we were up here. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so should we go ahead and approve the use of the park before that, or should we wait till it's done? Well, it needs the use to be done by the park board. Yeah, but they always got here. Yeah, they always come here. Well, we've added it to the agenda. I just didn't know what it was. Make a motion. Make a motion. Make a motion. We allow them to use the park on the third and the fourth as they request. If they will so they get the insurance. If the insurance, yeah, provided the insurance covers. Move. 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 Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'll be all right. All in favor say aye. Aye. This approved, no. Now, we had some candidates that their signs were taken down, which they were correctly taken down by us, the city. I mean, they weren't, they weren't where they were supposed to be. But now we've got issues with putting our cruising signs up. Nancy or Steve, would one of y'all like to address that? We just don't want to. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got one candidate. It's Main Street Road over then. And said, oh, well, if, if you put up any other signs up, I'm going to have them taken down. So we need to do something to allow city sponsored events. Can't do it. Content neutral. Uh, the Supreme Court recently looked ruled on that. You can't have a sign ordinance that has it based on any type of content. So if you ban those signs, those temporary signs for one, you got to ban them for all. And okay. whoever the irate candidate is, he's right. Yeah, he, well, I, I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't argue that fact. I just, I just tried to help out to get the word out about our cruise ins yeah. and our city-sponsored events. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so. if a, but if a, 
a citizen, you must the laws. Wants to <laughs> allow that yes. sign to be put in their yard. They can do that. Oh, then, 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 well, then we can have a, a resident say, okay, you can put that cruise in sign in the yard. Is that, that oh, be the yeah. one sign yeah, in that yard? That's correct, Steve. Oh, can you put them in private so, I mean, property? Cruise in and carry day. And yeah. Y'all put that same Yeah, this is just on public property. On, yeah. On the right of way. State right of ways. Yeah. I just didn't know if there's anything we could do. Obviously, we can't. So. Okay. <coughs> All right. Anything else? I've got to leave with you. Uh, yeah. You have to the term. Yeah. So we got the attorney client thing. And the state. So I don't guess we can call it a closing meeting. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'll make a motion. We're adjourned. Well, no, we got to not adjourn. We're not adjourned. Yes, it is. Recess. We're having a recess. Recess. We're having a recess. Thank you very much. Come to come to the park July 4th. Good time we've had it by all. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Are you are y'all gonna come back and take any action? Are y'all gonna come back and take any action after your meeting? After your attorney client? You're having an attorney client meeting. Oh, take any action? Yeah. No. Oh well, if you do, I'll hear about it.